probably a lot more questions than answers, and I still think we have a lot of questions, and uh, maybe we'll never know the answers, too. But you never know what a person may be going through. Sometimes people think they know what's going on, and they don't. So a lot of questions tonight surrounding the suicide of this UC student whose disappearance launched that massive local search. Thousands of volunteers, police, family, and friends devastated by the news. 21-year-old Brogan Dully was found dead in a building just feet from his apartment. Again, his death officially ruled a suicide, but there's still a lot that we don't know right now. What happened to the lost phone? Did he return home after vanishing? And perhaps the most difficult, why would he take his own life? Investigators did give us some answers today. And WLWT News Science Jackie Conjado is leading the way for us live tonight from right outside of the home where Brogan's body was found the last night. Jackie. Mike and Cherie, as you mentioned, this sadly is where that eight day search for Brogan Dully ended last night around nine o'clock inside this building. It is the building immediately next door to Dully's apartment building. Police telling us. The building's owner called them thinking she saw an intruder in the basement when, in fact, it was the body of the 21-year-old. Police say he had hanged himself in the corner of a very dark basement shortly after he went missing. Uh, they say he used a crowbar to break into a third-story window. A bottle of wine was also found in that basement. A lot of questions for investigators today about why this building had not been searched in the course of the last eight days. Police saying they were unable to get a hold of the owner until she contacted them last night. When you look at this building, and I got to tell you, I walked behind it, in front of it, side of it. When you looked at it, um, it appeared that there was there was people in there. Um, there wasn't no breach, obvious breach that we could tell where somebody could have could have made entry. In fact, there's uh, glass block windows in the basement, um, and it does appear that, that people are working out of there. So. Back out here live as far as a motive tonight. Police reiterated today there were no obvious indications that something was bothering this young man. They say they have not found any sort of a note. They've searched laptops, have not found any, any indications there as to why he may have been looking for his phone as we saw in that surveillance video. And then, of course, just shortly afterwards, choosing to do this. Uh, still no answers there. Police say sometimes when these investigations wrap up, there are still those questions. Reporting live tonight, Jackie Conjado, WLWT News 5. Right, Jackie, thank you. Two vigils planned. The Cincinnati Zoo will host one tonight at 7.30, and UC plans a vigil tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. You can find details about both on our website, WLWT.com.